Hi Taurus, welcome to your February 2018 love reading. It's Rena here. Okay, Taurus. Um, <laughs> I'm already saying in advance that um, it looks to me like I might do a um, singles love reading for YouTube at some point in the next few weeks. So, yeah, I can never tell where the center is. <laughs> Uh, so look for that, uh, just because I can already see that this is where this is going. <laughs> okay. See, now I'm like, like I said, I can never tell. Uh, oh, well, oh, well. So the theme, or the, what do I call it, the overall theme, heart of the matter, is the Four of Cups. Now, look at the fact that the clouds are offering this man, or this person, we'll just say person, um, a cup. Cups connect to the emotions, so therefore we could say love. Someone is being offered love, but they're indifferent to it. This card is associated with dissatisfaction, but one possible little detail that has to be acknowledged is that it's not that you may not have love in your life, but it's one of those deals where somebody may love you, but you don't love them back. Now, at one time you may th have thought that you loved them. So if this is, for instance, a marital situation and or the equivalent of a marriage, it can be e extremely uncomfortable to be in this position because you may feel quite guilty knowing that you're in a relationship with someone and you just don't have the same feelings for them. I always think of uh, Eat, Love, Pray because it's one of those things about how she, every night she'd wake up and start crying in the bathroom in, in the early dawn, pre-dawn hours because she knew she was trapped in this relationship with somebody who was very nice but she didn't love him. And that's what always gets people it's because it's like well at least they love me how can I turn my back on love and um, you know it, it's one of the it, you 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 have to be with somebody that you really uh, have mutual feelings for another possible interpretation of this card is simply that you're unhappy with your life. Now, in the past position, we have here the Three of Pentacles. Sometimes I see this with co-workers, uh, maybe even having some kind of an affair. Um, the number three in a love reading can be three parties involved. And that may be like if you're having an affair, it may be due to dissatisfaction in your relationship. But this is like um, people working on a project together. So it makes me think of a work situation because pentacles can relate to work, your career. Um, so in a, po a possible interpretation is that even if you're not having an affair, you may have met somebody through your work who, when you interact with that person, you totally 
get a uh, you get a totally different type of feeling than you do with your significant other where it's like you say to yourself this is how it is supposed to be we have fun we're we're like on the same page we laugh at the same jokes and I don't have that in my personal relationship I feel bored I don't feel like this person stimulates me this is especially true for those Taurus people who have Gemini placements with Venus and Mars and you know of course it could be even with our Mercury and uh, the the moon but some kind of a um, with the Gemini influence uh, being the sign right next to you there can definitely be with Venus and Mars this love of flirting uh, which involves little literary uh, like wordplay <laughs> instead of foreplay and for you know because Taurus is seen as this this earth sign and you know it's not necessarily um, people don't look at it intellectually but we are ma made up of different parts and if you do have personal plants in, in Gemini you may really need intellectual rapport with somebody more than you even realized at first and then it's kind of like a little bit devastating to find out that you're bored by your partner intellectually um, and there's other reasons too it might you may have gotten involved with somebody who's just in general kind of uh, too serious and things like that and you feel like there's just nothing there now What's happening right now is the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card that I actually associate with Taurus, not just because it's Pentacles, but because this is a card of waiting to see if something is going to work out. And so there's patience associated with this card. Well, the problem is that Tor Taurus people are too patient. Some of them may not really fully understand this about themselves, but because I have Taurus rising, I totally know what's going on here. Sometimes you may claim that you're just trying to see what's going to happen, but it's you're putting off the inevitable. So if you're unhappy in a relationship, Acknowledge that to yourself. You don't have to leave that day, but at least don't lie to yourself and don't pretend that it's going to get better magically for when you have no reason to think that it should. Because you can end up waiting for years <laughs> for something to get better. And, uh, and I do see that you may be kind of like holding off taking action and the higher message is the Ace of Cups. And this is about new love coming in. So what do they always say? That you have to um, let go of things that aren't serving you and then other things can come in their place. And so this kind of scenario is, can be waiting in the wings for you. But if your energy is tied up in your significant relationship, um, you may just be like, uh, you know, kind of, I would say, <sighs> expending so much energy on that, trying to make it work, trying to see if the other person is changing and try, maybe even trying to control them and manipulate them in some way to try to get them to be, you know, shape them into what you want rather than accepting how they are and if you don't like how they are then just moving on and really um, conserving your energy for something that is more worthwhile. 
what crosses you is represented by the Five of Swords. Now, um, one thing that this could indicate is that you may be picking up on something with your partner. Your partner may be involved in, in um, some kind of an affair and you are in the dark about it. Even though you may not care about the relationship in general, part of the reason that things may be unsatisfying is that the other person has been trying to, you know, has been um, somehow involved with um, maybe even more than one person. And so when they're offering you love, it may be like a false love. It may not even be real on their part. And it's possible that you sense that, and that is what turns you off, because you know that they're just doing that to try to keep you off the trail, you know, keep you off the scent <laughs> of the trail. Uh, with the Five of Swords, too, you may be tempted uh, to do something with, like, if you are attracted to somebody at work, for instance, just have an affair. And that would be a really bad idea. And, and this, is, this happens, I think, uh, more often than it doesn't, where the person's afraid to leave. So rather than leave the relationship that, they're, that they find unsuitable, they end up having an affair. And it's like, okay, now what is this actually going to solve? Is it going to make your marriage any more tolerable? Maybe a little bit because at least you're having fun on the side. But it's not going to make you have a life that is in alignment with what it is that you're looking for. It's really just an empty diversion to try to keep you stuck in a bad relationship to be able to tolerate it and go on with your life and yet it complicates matters. The Five of Swords is a card of empty victory. So you don't want to win the battle but lose the war because you ended up being the one who was unfaithful. If another person loves you and you don't love them the kind thing to do is to tell them that they deserve to be with somebody who is totally committed to the relationship and not to go behind their back. That isn't um, kind to them. That isn't sensitive to them. So this is just kind of a little warning about being tempted to do something like that just to try to, you know, keep from having to make these major changes in your life. The advice of what's coming in is the Six of Swords. So I think that some Taurus people are going to be uh, picking up uh, moving house. And this is a card also that they say choosing peace uh, by moving away from conflict. So if your home life is actually more than just dissatisfactory, but it's actually um, where you have a lot of conflicts with your partner, then that would be indicative of that. But either way, I think some of you are going to do it. Now, this does not talk about timelines or anything, but the good thing is that you have that at the centerpiece, you have the Ace of Cups. So just keep your eyes on the prize of what's important in your life. And you'll realize that um, taking the necessary steps to extricate yourself from a situation that is not working is the best policy. The outcome is the Four of Pentacles. Now you see the first card I mentioned was the Four of Cups. Another four. Fours relate to foundations, but this is especially emphasized with pentacles because pentacles are tangible. They're about the, you know, about money. 
So this is about um, having good control of your money. Uh, perhaps that was one thing that was bothering you about your relationship. If you were with somebody who was very financially irresponsible, maybe they weren't even working and you were uh, doing everything and you were like, okay, <laughs> so why am I with this person again? Not that we're trying to just like pool our money together, but I mean, it can be, it can feel really bad when you're like responsible for everything and the other person is oblivious. Like they don't even seem like they care. They're just there. They seem to be just there trying to get what they can get from the relationship. So that sounds to me like using a person if that resonates with any of you. And the four of uh, pentacles is about you really being in charge in control of your money and also uh, building a relationship a new maybe a new relationship as evidenced by the ace of cups at some point in your life with someone who is willing to um, work with you and you're like a team and you are they're together trying to make your life, life, lives as strong as possible, as successful as possible. And that's kind of like, I think, what a lot of Taurus people want. Yes, Taurus is a romantic sign. It's ruled by Venus. But it's also an Earth sign. At the end of the day, it's an Earth sign. And so it is connected to pentacles, dollars and cents, and career and... The comforts of life, having just the, the finer things in life and enjoy, you know, the sensual pleasures of life, the simple things, actually. It doesn't have to be like really uh, fancy schmancy or expensive, but just uh, nice things, uh, nice surroundings. And somebody who is um, helping you to achieve this type of lifestyle. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this, Taurus. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have an awesome February. Bye.